Hi, this is David J. Chandran. Glad you can join me for an introduction to Notes Recon. Notes Recon is developed by Johnny Zhang, James Harris and myself. We're going to create a very simple report and also look at some of the features of Notes Recon. To help us, I've got a, a database which just has three fields, um, so it's very easy to visualize the data. We've just basically got a date, an amount and a category. Let's jump in, create a new report config. And let's create a very simple tabular report in Excel. So I'll call this personal expenses. Give it an optional category. Select the database from local. Select my form. I've got a few options in of formats I can export to and I'll choose where I want to export the data to. I leave my selection formula as is. I'll select all the fields. Now I want my date to actually appear first. So I'll move that up and I want the amount to appear last. I'll move that down and I'll create a report. There it is. But having a look at the amount, that's not what I was after. I want to get rid of those negative signs and also I just need the, the amount to two decimal places. So I jump back into my report, go to advanced and here I've got the option of adding notes formulas. So it's very flexible get rid of that decimal place and uh, rid of the negative and now just choose to go to two decimal places. I can also choose the titles so I can call this transaction date category and amount Let's run, close this one, and run that report again. And that's exactly what I wanted. Now, if I'm running this report regularly, I may also want to add a date at the end of the, the file, the file name, so I can include additional formatting the file name. So let me include the year, month, and day. So if I'm running this every day, it's very simple for me to keep a track of the different files and I'll create a report again. And you'll notice now that the file name includes the, the date. So we've looked at, at a couple of the main features. Um, we could do things like export to an Excel template where we export the data from notes into Excel and let Excel do all the formatting. We could also have parameters where at runtime staff could select, for example, a date range. And we've also got advanced features where we can pull data from multiple databases and then join that data or remove duplicates, as well as, say, scheduling and FTPing the data. Now, very, very quickly, let's have a look at some charts. Here's one I prepared earlier where we've got a database, where a selection formula, I've chosen um, a formula um, for the x and y axis and I'll go create a chart and flash. Wait a minute and there's our pie chart and let me demonstrate the same database. This time we've chosen, we've added a, a different formula that shows the month and the year. And I, for, I can format my flash chart here. Nice animated data. And we can scroll over this to, to see more information.